Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So today we're taking a look at an awesome open source video editor that you can get. This is totally free and it is known as Caden Live. Caden Live is an alternative to Premiere Pro and so many other tools that you might probably have considered working with in the past and also for the future so if you're coming from tools like final cut or maybe you're coming from tools like premiere and you just need an open source editor that you can literally use to replicate exactly the same kind of performance that you get with these tools which we've mentioned then Caden Live is your best bet right now and today we're going to take a look at how you can get started with working with Caden Live the things you need to know before you actually sink your teeth right into this so directly on the website you can take a look at a couple of features that exist here so the Caden life tool itself is built on qt and kde framework libraries so it supports like the multi-track video editor which is very primary for anyone that wants to do some stuff like that and it definitely supports a huge set of audio and video file formats we're also going to get into how you can configure the entire user interface if you want to work with that there's also a huge set of effects and transition tools audio and video scopes are there proxy editing automatic backup online resources Sources, key frameable effect and also teamable interface the tool is so light that it is only about 77 megabytes of data that you need to get the brand new version up and running so they've recently released a version 19.12.3 which is for windows and if you want to get that of the macintosh version of course you will also be able to get for mac and for linux so with this said let's dive right into the tool so we create in live open here once you want to start making a new project you would notice it has the new project setting this is extremely similar to what you get with those other professional apps or those other paid apps and from here we can choose what frame rates we want the kind of file size we want where we would like to get our file saved if you have a couple of project stuff that you want to work with if you have a couple of fonts you want to throw in here you can also proceed to getting those up and running now when you set up a project folder within this project folder is also where your proxy clips and also thumbnails will be delivered and cached so if you're thinking about how you can get that one going there you go so with this i'm just going to go ahead and click on ok and get a brand new scene up and running if you want to get the multi tracks running you can literally click from here right click and you can also add and you know remove a couple of multi tracks if this is what you want so let's go in and get some clips which we would use to test out some pretty cool features right here so first things i'll do is just drag in one of the clips from nvidia and yes speaking about nvidia the caden live also supports gpu rendering and gpu acceleration so if you come over to the settings and go over to the configuration you can see that there is some set of things that you can configure so if you're trying to bring in files that you want to slow down you know speed ramp you can literally make some of those changes right here you can also notice that within the capture it supports screen grab and so if you also want to do things like screen capture you can also capture your screen using in any of these encoders available right here you can also use black magic and down here if you go over to the playback you can see that there is a gpu support for this so with that done i'm just going to simply cancel this so that we can see what we have right here so you can also see that file which we dragged in here is a 1080 hd file with 30 frames per second you know playback so if you want to go through and switch this you can still choose to switch this to 30 frames per second or you can simply just hit the word cancel so for this one i'm just going to simply cancel that right there and i can click drag and drop this right over here so right here is where you have your menus and down here is where you have you know more like your sub menus and from here is where you can proceed to hit render and also stop the render so you can see that the ui is extremely clean and very simple and i love the way that they've gone through to do this if there are certain windows you're looking for you can simply go over to the view section and you can pop those windows all the way up so for example let's say we're looking for the vector scope and we can just simply you know pop that one over and if we are also looking for things like library we can also choose to pop this thing over the ui configuration and you know how you can change the interface is extremely simple so if i click right here i can choose to, you know stack these two together so i will be able to switch in between these and if i am working with a multi display and i want to switch from you know the clip monitor to the project monitor this is also something that is very very easy to be done so for example let's say i bring this right over here and switch 
from the clip monitor to the project monitor you would now notice that i have this right here if this is something that i would like to you know split apart or maybe drag out i can simply click right here and drag this all the way out and this is going to be very useful for those working with multi-display regardless of that you can still choose to tile this side by side so you can see your clip monitor or your source monitor and also the project monitor at the same time if you're also bothered about the whole user interface or maybe the color scheme if you choose to go over to the setting you can change the color to fit into what you want so for some reason i just seem to have loved the default breeze deck that comes with this so i'm going to simply bring in the puffy combo from one of our friends at zarif and with this i can simply drag drop right over here and get this directly on top of what we have so you can overlay certain things if you want and with this said let's simply take a look at the effects and some other things that a lot of you guys would want to get into while working directly here so now that we've taken a look at the entire user interface if you want to start getting some effects going on for you you can choose to make those effects happen so for this right now i'm just going to you know slide this over to the side and click this and drag this over to the side meanwhile how you can play back a footage or play back within the project editor is very simple as once you click you can get the footage playing and once you click one more time you can get the footage to stop so clicking activates the footage playing and once you click one more time you can get that footage to stop and this really makes a lot of sense for anyone who wants to just simply get things going and by the way if you also press the space bar you can also get this one happening let's say i want this particular image or this particular footage to actually transit from you know fade in and fade out all you need to do is just select the object or select the footage which you want and just click and drag directly on top and this would automatically get this job done right now once we press the playback button you can literally see that we have that you know transition happening in between these particular objects with what we have right here you can also go through and select some parts and reduce how much you want of that transition or you know of that composition as it's called here and you can also do exactly the same thing right here and get some pretty you know clean stuff happening for you so once we press the playback you can see that happen and once this plays over to the part where it has to transit back into the previous footage or you know fade off into the previous footage we can get this going and i do like this very you know helpful handles that is right here that you can use to control the balance and how things get to work within this tool and this is not the only kind of composite things that you have there's a long list of things that you might simply want to take a look at and with that said if we jump over to the effect there's also a huge set of effects that you can also find here so we're going to simply use the blender video that we have courtesy of pablo we can literally use this and talk about how you can make some effects so if we go over to image adjustment just to make some changes or maybe we want to simply make some color adjustments we can simply do that so from here if i simply select the lift gamma and gain click drag and drop directly onto the clip just like you do in every other app you would notice that right now once i click on that clip i would be able to have you know the very same lift gain and gamma that we have from different apps so i could say maybe i want to lift the reds a little bit more so if you simply you know take a look at that part you would start noticing something like that so if i raise the gain a bit more i can also choose to you know close this so that we can have one gigantic project monitor that we can look at and i can choose to you know play with the gamma as well or tone down the gamma depending on what i want and maybe i can also go in and start making some very interesting choices like this if you're also thinking about creating animations or you know you want to animate certain things you want to get some stuff happening no problems as this tool have you covered so a very cool one which i would like us to take a look at is some of the should i say transform motion targeted stuff so if we go over to the alpha slash transform we can choose to simply select transform and get this happening so if i click right here and click on the transform you would notice that we have this entire space right here so for me i would love to see this in so many other apps as this is definitely going to 
change how you do your keyframing for you to be able to see where one frame is over to where the next or the final frame is is a huge time saver so contrary to you know you reducing these and extending that trying to make sure that you can see the frames this is just something that would make your life extremely easy so if you want to simply add keyframe all you need to do is click on the plus button so for example if i simply drag this over to a point like this i can choose to click on the plus button right here and you would notice our frame or our clip actually changes the color now this color simply tells you that there is a frame that has been or there is a keyframe that has been added to this so from here you can now choose to make certain things things that has to do with rotation so let's say we want to rotate our clip a little bit like that and maybe we just want to simply scale this a little bit so i'll go over to the size and just simply click and drag to scale that with something like this it is pretty pretty easy for you to now have some sort of animation happening with your clip so if we go through and just simply click right here and get the animation playing back or press the space bar to get the animation playing back you can now see that we have a very smooth transition going on between what we have as our initial keyframe and what we have as our brand new keyframe so while we're still talking about the effects and a couple of effects that you can get here if you're into things like keying you know taking out screens green screens and stuff like that you may actually find this one interesting as you can simply use the search bar right here and type the word key and you can notice that we have the chroma key advanced chroma key basic you know the key spill mop up so i'm just going to simply click right here click on the chroma key advanced click drag and drop so once i click drag and drop i can select this select the eyedropper and then select the color which i want so i want to get rid of a color like this and with that done i can now easily choose to do whatever thing i want so if i would like this chroma key delta for the green to actually be a little bit high i can do that if i want the one for the red to be a bit high i can easily do all of that stuff so for the green i wouldn't want to have any of those things affecting it and also for the red i might just simply want to tone this slightly down and then if you're thinking about how you can soften these things and stuff you can also choose to just go through and soften the edges and get some very cool stuff happening some other interesting things that you can get going is for example if you take a look at this you notice that we have various individual shots that have been compiled together to give us this amazing motion clip that we're looking at all right what if you are trying to split these files into various segments this is something that you can easily do with a tool like this you may not be able to do this in premiere pro or even final cut so by simply clicking directly on the clip right here right click you can go over to a section that says clip jobs and you can automatically cut the scene and split them all right this sounds crazy but for sure it does it right now you can choose to stabilize this but what we want to do is we want to automatically split what we have right here so we're going to tell it to add markers or we can tell it to cut those scenes now all we want is to add markers and cut the scenes and we're just simply going to click on ok this is going to simply analyze your entire image or your entire clip look for the parts that you have cut and it is going to simply split these things in half so for example if you're into you know watching movie previews or watching you know trailers and stuff and you want to do some sort of compilation this is going to come in very very handy at the same time this is also going to come in very handy if you're trying to have some very quick shots of certain parts in a video and you don't want to spend all that excessive amount of time looking for them individually so that you can cut them and match them you can literally use this method and get these things automatically splitted for you so you can literally see that from here we have one scene and we have another scene another scene right here another scene right here another scene another scene another scene and another scene so imagine trying to cut this by hand this is definitely going to take you so much time but this automated process from an open source tool is just something awesome that i would like you guys to try out so real quick let's talk about text if you want to add text you can simply right click over here and click on add title clip now if you do click this you would notice you have something that is extremely similar to adobe premiere by simply clicking you can change the text to whatever thing that you want for example ask nk and from here you can choose to change the color of the text if you want to apply gradient outline shadows all of those effects you can do that here change the size as well if you want to also change the font style and also the font type this is pretty easy as you can get this going 
and once this is done click on ok and now from here all you need to do is just click drag and drop on top of your clip and you'll be able to have this happening so let's say for example within a clip like this i would like to have ask nk right over here i can simply click drag and drop that and you can notice i can you know have ask nk from here so with this done is also what talking about speed so if you want to speed ramp your file or the clip which you just brought in how you can do that is pretty simple all you need to do is right click then go over to where you have change speed and with that you can simply change the speed to anything that you want then you can also choose to reverse this now once you're done with this you can proceed click on ok and now you'll be able to have a speed ramped clip other things that you might also want to do maybe if you're coming from another app is probably you want to add lots you know you want to get some lookup tables across the entire thing or you just want to change the way your colors look without doing so much color correction for your clip you can simply apply a lot effect right here so once you type the word lut you can simply click within the add lot click and drag and then from here you can you know proceed to search for the lot file that you have and you can get this one running for sure all of the very basic things that you need for editing is right here things that has to do with cutting clipping and also merging of clips and stuff you get to find them around here and it's very cool to see that there is an open source app that can get you you know premium tools and you know stuff that you can simply use to get your job done so in case you're thinking about working with some video clips or you're trying to get into you know video editing and you're looking for an open source tool that can get you from a to z without spending so much time learning how to this particular software is one that you should consider taking a look at and that's about it i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace